Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. Now before we begin further, there are a few important concepts that you need to know. First is your namespaces, autoloaders, traits, and singleton. Now, if you know PHP, you might already be aware of these concepts or maybe some of them at least but it is important that you understand these concepts clearly if you don't know already uh, so that when we actually start building complex applications these things are very clear to you I know I know some of you will say to me that it's a WordPress course so why are we discussing namespaces autoloaders traits and singleton well the thing is that there could be some of you who must be beginners and might not be aware of these concepts but it is important to understand them before we begin further so let's quickly go through each one of them what these are and how to use them since we'll be using them in our WordPress project okay so namespaces are a way of encapsulating items so namespaces like a virtual folder or directory defined with a namespace keyword at the top of the class file followed by the name you like so what is the need for having a namespace well, they basically allow you to have two or more classes within the same name in different namespace directories which means that you can have multiple directories and each of those directories each of those directories can have same class name but with a different namespace just like you sometimes define functions with the same name and you prefix them with a namespace so it's a similar kind of concept so let's take a look so a standard way of defining a class would be for example we define a class of product and then we just go ahead and use it whenever we want to instantiate it just use new keyword and then product when we're using namespace the first thing we'll do is give it a namespace at the top of our class file and with the keyword namespace and whatever the namespace we want to give so think of app in this case is kind of a directory where this class would reside it won't be like an actual directory but it's just that think of it a virtual directory okay now I can have I can define the class product and then when I want to actually instantiate it uh, all I have to do is just prefix it with the namespace and then the backslash so in this case new app backslash product now when we have long namespaces we could also use another way of including them which is first let's say after you've defined it in one file in other file you use the keyword use and the name of the namespace and then we just go ahead and instantiate it so at the time of instantiation you don't have to actually prefix it because you have used the use keyword on top of the file 